Welcome to the Old Time Radio Westerns. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and let's get into this episode. This episode is going to be Western Stories, original air date. Well, that's the thing. We don't know exactly when this came out. It is an episode of Death Valley Days, and the title is Dear Teacher. Let's get into it, and I hope you enjoy. interesting true story for you about the historic Death Valley country, the fabulous land where these products originated, turning you team Borax and Boraxo. Folks, we all wash our hands many times a day, but I want to show you how to do it a quicker, cleaner, modern way with Boraxo, America's favorite powdered hand soap. First, wet your hands. Pour out a little black soap and add a little more water. Look at those studs. Wash like that with black soap and you'll get your hands twice as clean as half the time. And it leaves them nice and soft and smooth too. Every day Braxo washes 22 million hands clean. Reading, writing, and arithmetic, the three R's. But in the mining camp school at Ubehebe, which is the scene of this story I call Dear Teacher, there was a fourth R. R for Russian. And how? Quiet! Quiet! Stop it! Stop it this minute! Quiet! Quiet in this room! Mother! Why? Hey, stop it! confusing. I'm always receiving letters addressed, dear sir. Oh. Well, suppose we go where we can talk more easily. Which is your luggage? B3. By the way, my name is Alex Gaynor. I'm superintendent of the mill. How do you do? She won't last half a day. You won't even open school. The 
Mr. Gaynor is absolutely right. It'd be like throwing the Christians to the lions. The children can't be that bad. They've run seven teachers out of town already. Eight. You can count the notches on the desk. It's very kind of you to be so concerned about my welfare, but I can't go back now. And I need the position. So in spite of everything you say, I want to try the teaching. But, Miss Prentice... Please. Could you have a room here with you, Miss Doty? Well, uh, I don't usually sleep, folks. Just eat them. But, uh, all right. Oh, thank you. You have a lot of courage. So do the early Christians, but the lions finished them just the same. Go on right in. I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> What does she look like? Tight size. You gonna break your spectacles, Tiny? She don't wear spectacles. She doesn't. But she's old, isn't she? Nope, she's young. Young? And pretty. Pretty? Good morning. teachers left with only five legs and four eyes between them. Aren't you awful? Begin with a morning prayer. Bow your heads, please. Every morning, mercy's new. Fall as fresh as morning dew. Every morning, let us pay tribute to the early day. For thy mercies, Lord, are sure. Thy compassion doth endure. Amen. Our women. <laughs> we'll begin with taking the roll. Then we'll arrange classes. Gladys Murdoch, present. Put that ball away, boy. Put that ball away, boy. Proceed with a roll call. Thomas Ruggles? Here. Richard Sloat? Richard Sloat? Here. Jeannie Simmons? Present. Have a busy day, Mr. McEwen? Quite busy. Then you must be hungry. Thank you. Well, uh, how do things go? Very nicely. I was thinking of you all day. Nicely? I think they're going to be an interesting group to work with. Stimulating. 
That's a new word for it. And most responsive. You mean you had no trouble with them? It's all in the initial approach. You hear that, Miss Dovey? They behave. Just like a cat playing with a mouse. Just wait. Potato? If I were you, I'd arm myself with a ruler. A good, big one. Oh, I couldn't strike a child, Mr. Gaynor. I'd like to speak to the teacher. What is it? You know very well what it is. You couldn't keep a thing like that a secret very long. She threatened the children with a gun. A gun? Oh, no. Oh, yes. Gladys came home and told me. Fired it once more. Point blank. I was just trying to break up a ball game. The boys wouldn't stop, so I aimed at the ball. And what did you hit? The ball, of course. In midair. Well, I'll be everlastingly. We got an Annie Oakley with us. Gladys was still shaking with fright, poor lamb. I'm sorry, but I'm sure there won't be an occasion to do it again. There had better not be, or we shall take our children out of school. <laughs> But in the case as serious as this, I would suggest that you... I've don't... already looked. It isn't in her room. It is? No. Are you sure? Positive. Then she's taken it to school and she'll use it on the slightest provocation. That's a dangerous woman for you. If I was you, I wouldn't have an easy moment with her under the same roof. Let me something, Miss Brennan. A present. Cartridges? Oh, dear me. We brought you these so you could put on a shooting match for us. You brought me these so I could put on a shooting match for you. Yes, ma'am. That's why we brought them. Will you, teacher? Please? <laughs> Certainly not. <laughs> At least, sir. Uh, I'll let you shoot this out of my mouth, teacher. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Miss Brennan. This is a school, not a shooting gallery. We've got lessons to learn. Spelling, geography. We'll learn them. On it. All right. You do, and then we shoot. When? How soon? Well, see the end of each week. <laughs> but only for those who behave themselves and gotten good marks. Now, pass out the study books and we'll get to work. And she has a whole deck full of ammunition. Isn't that so, Gladys? Boxes and boxes of thought. Makes me wish I was back in school again. Why, our old cross-eyed school teacher couldn't have hit the side of a bar. Won't you ever take anything seriously, George? Suppose she suddenly decided to point that gun at Gladys. She won't. Gladys behaves herself. She's got an awful funny look in her eye. I think she's kind of crazy. Do you hear that, George? She might go berserk. Now, don't start using words I can't understand, dear. Remember, I didn't get beyond the fifth grade. Maybe she'll hold evening classes for blokes like me. Thank you so much. Good luck with us sometime. Yeah, I know there's a lot of rabbits and quail, too. I bet you wouldn't miss a one. Thank you, boys. See you tomorrow morning. Bright right. and early. Bye. Bye. Hello. Got a meeting out of your hand with your little gun, haven't you? <laughs> You know, they didn't give courses in marksmanship to co-eds when I went to Cornell. <laughs> it was my father who taught me. He used to take me out to the lake on Saturdays. We practiced for hours. Well, that's funny for a girl. She'd always hoped for a son. That's how I got the name I did. Heaven. Well, if you had been, you wouldn't have been here now. No, I'd be back home. 
trying to help him tell he's coming from the crash. He lost everything in the panic last summer. I'm sorry. I find I'm so grateful for this opportunity. There aren't many openings for teachers middle of the year. Well, I'm, I'm sure you'll make good. I hope so. I'll help you any way that I can. Thank you. I need friends. None of your business. You tell him to the chat room? No. Then what? Oh, shut up. You don't come tagging after us. Why not? Because we don't want you, savvy. <laughs> Maybe we should get some tin cans, too. Too easy. Even Bottles ain't much of a target for a shot like her. Come next Saturday, we'll set them up way off in the back fence and stick candles in them and let teacher put them out one by one. Yeah. Ping, ping, ping. a person's breath smell like when they've been drinking? Smell your father sometimes. Well, I like that. I thought so. What do you mean, you thought so? It's just like her smell. Whose? The teacher. Miss Prentice? Miss Prentice? George, did you hear that? Oh, I don't believe it. It's got a thistle. Children imagine things. Of course. It could have been a tough girl bottle she was hiding. Where? It was still at school. You saw her? Please, Ma, I'm trying to do my spelling. Going over to Miss Jolie's for a few minutes. Some more power, Mr. McEwen? Yeah. Say it again, Miss Prentice. So we can learn. Multiplication is vexation. Division is as bad. The rule of three perplexes me. And that is what I mean. Oh, that was a good one. I just learned something more about our dear teacher. She drinks. Drinks? Gladys saw her hiding the bottles. Well, I never... George refuses to get excited, but I think it should be investigated. It certainly should. Will you go with me? Right now. Don't fight that again. General Grant, there's a whole bunch of them in there. You don't suppose that they could have been left there by some of her predecessors? Oh, no. Gladys saw her putting them there. She must have been having regular orgies. This settles it. She'll have to go. A school teacher who packs a gun and drinks. I'll certainly need a petition among the parents. The mother, naturally, won't be necessary to mention it to the men. And I shall give her notice to vacate her room. You mean, I'm going to have to find another place to live? That's what I said. I don't understand. You will before the day is up. Gladys, I'm going to school with you this morning. Uh, Mama! I don't feel very good all of a sudden. What's the matter? I get a headache and a sore throat. <coughs> Maybe I better not go to school this morning. Not if you're coming down with something. I hate to miss. It don't matter much. <coughs> George? 
I'm going to drive over to Ruby Valley with those engineers from Denver. I won't be back till evening. Well, I'll tend to things. Well, school's still keeping. Why not? Well, I understand they're having some trouble. The women folk are up in arms about the teacher. That ridiculous gun business? More than that. There's talk about... Well, there's some claim she tippled. That's a lie. I don't believe it myself, but you know how women are once a rumor gets started. Who started the rumor? Search me. Well, I'll make it my business to find out as soon as I get back. By your head. Every morning, mercy's new. Fall as fresh as morning dew. Every morning, let us pay tribute to the early day. For thy mercies, Lord, are sure. Thy compassion doth endure. Amen. Good morning, Mrs. Murtaugh. I hope Gladys isn't sick. I know that she is, but that's not why I'm here. I think this document will explain itself. What in the world? We'll begin with penmanship this morning. Take out your pencil tablets. Children, 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 there will be no school this afternoon. Is Mr. Dean in? He's away, out of town. Oh. I'm Miss Foreman. Anything I can do for you? No. Is there any message you'd like to leave? I'm afraid not. Was something wrong? Young, what do they mean? What do they mean? Now, don't upset yourself. It's so awful. My first position. I'll never be able to get another. There, there. Now, we'll straighten it out. Don't you fret. It's easier. There isn't anything you stop at, is there? It'll be a week tomorrow, and we behave ourselves. Yeah, and study hard. I can name the tetros of all the states. Boys, I'm sorry. Oh, but you promised, Miss Trennis. I won't be here tomorrow. I'm leaving. Leaving? You mean for good? There won't be no shooting match? Why? What's happened? I can't explain it, but that's the way it is. Where's she going? What for? Oh, quick, pass her to me. Why is she leaving all of a sudden? Oh, don't act so darn innocent. It's all you kids' fault. You drove her to drink. That ain't so. Miss Prentice don't drink. No? Well, they found the evidence. Bottle hid in the school stove. Bottle? Those was our bottle. I didn't know they were there. Grab. She met us, remember? I'll bet she followed us, little sneak. Yeah, then blame that I miss Prentice. Just a stud something. He's just like her. Come on. What is it, Tiny? Please tell me. No, sir. It's a surprise. Just wait. You'll see. Tiny says you got something for me. What is it? A rattlesnake. Okay, okay, okay. Your tongue shall be split, and in every little dog and town shall have a little bit. You've seen us with those bottles in the stove. Said they was the teacher. No, no, I didn't. I didn't see you put them in there. I never said it was. You tell the truth, or I'll let this out. You wouldn't. You're just fooling. You think so? No, no. Then fess up quick. You did spy on Yes, yes, I did. Don't let it out. And you made them think it was Miss Prentice. Yes. Yeah. Let it go. behind the woodbox. We'll get it later. He ain't finished with Gladys yet. 
Where's Miss Pettit? I don't know. She came by the express depot and asked me to pick up her bag. Is the story here? No, she's gone over to Murtaugh. You were my child, Gladys Murtaugh. I'd take you over my knee and beat the stuffings out of you. My father will take care of her when he comes home. Mm, here he comes now. Oh, Mr. Gaynor. Where is she? Where's Miss Pettit? Over at the school, getting her trained. Above a cruel, unwarranted... You can save your breath, Mr. Gaynor. We know the truth now. Gladys has just confessed. <laughs> and what's more, she's going with us right now and apologize. We all owe an apology. Come on, Mr. Gaynor. I'll tell you all about it on the way over. I'm sorry. I like Miss Prentice. I'll never do it again. Ask her to forgive you. Please forgive me. Don't move, Daddy. Don't make a sound. A bullseye. Shut the head. Clean off of it. Gee, we got our shooting match. Let me pick it up and shorten its credit. Oh, please don't. I can't even stand to look at a snake. But she needs is a good stiff drink. I could use one myself. From that time on, they dropped the R for Ruxin from the UV Hebe school curriculum. And indeed, from the whole community, as far as dear teacher was concerned. Now, I think you'll get a smile out of this young couple. Oh, no, you don't. Not with those dirty hands. You come along and wash them. But I did. What'd you wash them with? So, what else? What else? Now that I have your ear, let me introduce you to Peraxo Potted Hand Soap. Oh no, wet your hands first. And now you pour on some Peraxo. Add a little more water. Now look at this thing. Yay, that'll roll the dirt out. Yes, Peraxo gets out ground in dirt the plain so it can't reach. Hands get twice as clean in half the time with Baraxa. Folks, I'll be back on the same station with another true story of Death Valley Days two weeks from now. And until then, I'll say, so long. And remember, clean clothes. My job. Clean hands. That's me. So long. This has been a presentation of otrwesterns.com, and we hope you enjoyed. Please take some time to like and rate our shows in your favorite podcast application. Follow us on Facebook by going to otrwesterns.com slash Facebook. Join in the conversation by going to otrwesterns.com slash Discord. And don't forget to send us an email, podcast at otrwesterns.com. This episode is copyright under the attribution, not commercial, share like copyright. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash copyright. Have a great day, and again, thanks for listening.